Hello again basketball gamers and welcome to another video retrospective for Wayback Wednesday. Since the 2016 Olympic Games are underway and the 1992 Dream Team has been announced as a pre-order bonus for NBA 2K17, I figured it only made sense to look back at another game that included the original Dream Team in its entirety. No, not NBA 2K13, although that is a fine game to look back on. No, we're going to look back a lot further to the first game that included the legendary Dream Team, Team USA Basketball for the Sega Genesis. Team USA Basketball is a spin-off of Electronic Arts NBA Playoff series, which began with Lakers vs Celtics. That makes it a predecessor to the NBA Live series, though while the two series are kind of in the same lineage, they are also distinctly different. The jump from NBA Showdown to NBA Live 95 is actually one of the most significant year-to-year -year improvements in a basketball video game, but that's a topic for another time. Celebrating the 92 Olympics in Barcelona, Spain, Team USA Basketball includes not only the original Dream Team of Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley and so on, but 13 other national squads. An all-world squad is also included, featuring a selection of players from the non-US squads so gamers can play their own USA vs the world matchup. I'll be blunt, the NBA Playoff series hasn't aged particularly well, and the same goes for the Team USA Basketball spin-off. I know you can say that about a lot of really old sports games, well, the ones that try to be realistic anyway, and you have to take into account that games have come a long way since then. However, those early hoops games from EA are quite primitive to say the least. Classics like NBA Live 95, NBA Live 2000 and so on actually do hold up surprisingly well in some aspects, but titles like Team USA Basketball? Mm, not so much. Now, keep in mind that this is all in retrospect, and with the perspective of superior games that have come out afterwards. When they came out, Team USA Basketball and the other NBA Playoffs games were solid basketball titles that gamers enjoyed, and there's certainly some nostalgia there. Of course, when you play them today, their problems and primitive nature are very apparent. One of the biggest problems is that there's no turbo or sprint control. This makes it tough to elude defenders who stick to you like glue. Since minimal contact will often result in a steal, or a foul for that matter, the frustration factor is very high here. Another noteworthy issue can be found in the passing. When you pass to a teammate, they stop dead in their tracks to receive the pass. This basically makes fast breaks impossible since your opponents will keep running back on D. The CPU seems to move a bit quicker and more freely, so it's also tough to stay with them when you're on defense. Like a lot of old school basketball games, jump shots aren't as effective as they should be. There's also two shoot buttons. The A button shoots with forward momentum and performs signature moves, referred to as marquee moves, when you're in the lane. Conversely, the C button shoots a jump shot without forward momentum. When it comes to taking jump shots, I personally found that there's very little difference between the two, at least as far as success rate is concerned. There are other quirks, such as performing big dunks from a standstill way out from the basket, shots that seem to miss before they go in, and so on. Given the general sophistication of video games of that era, you have to give some of that a pass. More frustrating is the fact that some shooting fouls just don't seem to register as shooting fouls, instead resulting in a side out of bounds. The team meter is in the game for free throws, but it's pretty unforgiving compared to its later implementation in the NBA Live series. As you would expect, there's a tournament mode where you can choose a team and go for the gold. There are modifiers such as difficulty options, quarter length, and arcade or simulation gameplay, the main difference being the lack of fatigue in arcade mode. It's about what you'd expect for a game released in 1992, and the fact that the entire Dream Team is included, along with all the other international players, is certainly nice to see. There's also two-player head-to-head multiplayer, and basic instant replay functionality. If you're going to go back and play a game like Team USA Basketball, you'll need to take some time to familiarize yourself with the idiosyncrasies of its jump shot timing, the hotspots on the floor, and other video game tactics. Since the controls aren't particularly deep, and there are technical limitations such as the inability to catch passes on the run, a realistic basketball strategy kind of takes a backseat to whatever tactics will put the ball in the basket more often than your opponent. Team USA Basketball and the NBA Playoffs series in general are all noteworthy games in their own right. In their time, they were pretty good and fun to play. They're a part of basketball gaming history and it would be some time before we'd see licensed international teams in basketball games, a full 20 years before the original Dream Team would be included. That said, if I'm in the mood to play a really old basketball video game from around that vintage, I'll probably take World League Basketball or one of the original NBA Jam games. If you're looking to play with a Dream Team before NBA 2K17 comes out, perhaps stick with NBA 2K13.